The forward lean drill is probably the most important drill you'll ever learn. Nothing is more important than controlling the club face. This drill will help the best golfer as well as the beginner. Let's take a look. Eddie is one of my students who was shooting in the low 90s to high 80s. He had a problem with releasing the club early and his club face was out of control. Sometimes he'd hit the ball 60 yards left out of bounds. Let's analyze what's happening. You can see that his club and his left arm form essentially a straight line before he even gets close to the ball. Next you'll see that his right elbow quits moving forward and this causes his right hand to flip through impact. The right elbow still hasn't moved. When we look just after impact we can see that flipping has occurred. The wrists have broken down and the club and the arm do not form a straight line. With good forward lean the club and the left arm should form a straight line after impact. Here's Eddie doing the forward lean drill a few months later. Let's look in slow motion. Eddie takes the club back to approximately waist high with his hands. He doesn't use his body. Now his arms move forward, particularly his right elbow, and his forward lean is much better. On the downswing, you'll see that his club is not in a straight line and he has not released early. His right elbow now is moving forward. At impact, you can see that he has much more forward lean and his right elbow has moved forward almost to his belly button. Just after impact, you can see that his arm and his club are in a straight line and his right elbow has continued to move forward. Four months later, Eddie is shooting in the low 70s and he's the number two man on his high school golf team. Let's take a look at Chris. He is one of my top students and he's won two state amateurs and finished high in several national tournaments. Chris swings his hands back to waist high. It is important to swing the arms and to try to minimize body movement in this drill. You can see at impact his right elbow has moved forward to his belly button. He has significant forward lean. Also, you can see that his right wrist is cocked back on itself. Shortly after impact, the left arm and the club are in a straight line. Also, the right wrist is still cocked back on itself. You can tell that he has not flipped. Matt is a 14-year-old student who has already qualified for two national tournaments, although he's only been playing golf for less than a year. Matt is learning the drill by using just his right arm. In the golf swing, I find that most of the mistakes on the downswing occur in the right arm. This drill will help you correct those problems. Matt has correctly rotated his whole arm to the right. Ashley has only done a bicep curl and this is not the correct way to do the drill. As a result, Matt's right arm is much straighter than Ashley's right arm. The most important part of this drill is how the right arm swings forward through impact. Using the clavicular head of the right pectoralis muscle, he moves his right elbow forward to the belly button. Not only has it moved his elbow forward, but it has also kept his elbow very close to his shirt. This is one of the real magic muscles in the golf swing. This is the only muscle that can move the right upper arm across the chest parallel to the target line. Learn to use this muscle by keeping the angle of your right forearm the same as you start forward. This will allow you to use the correct muscle which will keep your elbow very close to the body. You can see where the muscle is. You can feel the muscle work as the elbow moves. By getting the elbow forward to the same spot every time, we can now control the loft of the club. But we also need to control whether the face is open, closed, or square at impact. This is done by rotation of the right arm, which controls the rotation of the right hand. On the left, the club face is open, in the middle it's square, and on the right it's closed. The more you rotate, the more the club face will be closed. The elbow needs to get to the same spot every time in order for this rotation to be consistent. Let's review. Chris rotates his right arm and his hands go to about waist high. 
He uses the magic muscle to bring his right elbow forward and up to the belly button. Now we're just about at impact. One more part. At impact, you should feel like the palm of your right hand is on top of a beach ball and that you roll the beach ball forward. You can do this drill with anywhere from an 8-iron up to a sand wedge. Also, tee up a ball and use your driver. I really want you to learn how to control the face. This drill can go wrong if you use the main head of the pectoralis major instead. The main head will incorrectly make the right arm go out toward the target line as you see in this demonstration. This causes flipping and lack of control of the face as the elbow never gets up to the belly button. One more important point about the drill. The club should be taken back with rotation as you see on the left side and not by cocking back with the wrist on the right side. As the right elbow moves forward, the right arm should rotate so that the right wrist becomes cocked back on itself at impact. It remains this way after impact to prevent flipping. Stay on top of the beach ball. This equation, x plus y equals 7, is unsolvable because there are two variables and no constant. In the golf swing, if we don't move the elbow up far enough, we never know how much to rotate. We can never solve the equation. There's another principle I want you to understand. How much the club face is closed or open depends on where the right elbow is. If it stops early, then the face is closed. If it gets up to its regular spot, then it might be square or even a little open. That's why it's so important to make the right elbow the constant. You can see that all three of my players have learned to get their elbow up into the same position. In order to control the club face, the right elbow must be the constant. Then, the loft will always be the same and so will the distance. Only when the elbow is constant can the brain learn to open and close the face the correct amount. If you want to get better, develop a constant elbow. Then your brain can learn open, closed, and straight. My players have all gotten better, and so can you. If you want to get better, learn club face control.